Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use GoFormative.com to create questions to which your students reply by using drawings. So I'm already signed in here at GoFormative.com and let's make a new formative assessment. And let's say that my assessment will be called Branches of Government. And now I'm going to select the question type of show your work. And I might give the prompt uh, draw a diagram of the branches of government. And now I'm ready to give this to my students. And I'll select assign or share. Now if I've created classrooms in GoFormative, I can assign it to one of those classes or I can select guest students and I'll assign it. And when I give it to guest students, we'll go to goformative.com slash join and enter the code. You can see here I can also post it to Google Classroom, give students a direct link to it, or even embed it into a web page. So a student, go to goformative.com slash join and then enter this code to make the drawing. So let's take a look at that. And the student enters the code. They can sign in as a guest. And now see this draw diagram of the branches of government. Show your work. And a student can draw, change the colors. As students can type in here. Perhaps changing color over here. Now if you make a mistake like I just did, going to delete that part and draw it in again and put in the text and students can draw lines freehand as well and the freehand is great for things like drawing diagrams of plant cells or showing how to solve a math problem when they're done students click done and then submit and then they can log out of the assignment. Now back here as a teacher, I can see that my student Bob Jones has now completed the assignment. Give and hide the names. And let's view the responses. So I'm viewing Bob's response by simply clicking on the label to the right of 0% here. I can see his diagram. I give him a point for it. And then I can close that out. If I want to see a spreadsheet of the grades that I give out, I can do so by clicking on CSV or Google Sheets right there. So that's how I can assign questions to students to which they have to draw responses in GoFormative.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.